So what is going on guys, this is Ryan here and welcome back to Resident Evil Remastered. The game in which whilst zombies may kill you, it's mainly down to them camera angles. This game has been a wild ride so far guys and I think this is going to be the episode where we conclude everything. I mean, I'm down to finish this today, are you Chris? Yeah, I'm pretty down man. See? We're all, we're all down here. <gasps> Kind of creepy though, wasn't it? Now, in the last episode, guys, I think we did three bosses total, or I guess you could say four, and that uh, we managed to acquire this thing right here, a stone and metal object. Instantly, I remember placing one of these to actually access this area we're in right now. We put it in some kind of wall, and I guess Zelda music inbound. Instantly, we got granted access to some new zones. Now, I think we're gonna take that thing back because, I mean, we need it. I honestly don't think there's a whole lot more we have to do in this game, guys. We've done some incredible work these past few episodes. I mean, I've been recording for like two hours every single time because I really enjoy this game, and hey, as it going and uh, you know what yep let's just get the freak out of here so there is a few things i've got to do back in the mansion at the same time as everything else one being and i actually wrote this down when we beat the giant snake which i think is called the yawn i couldn't take the boat because my inventory was freaking full so we got to backtrack i mean i don't know how long this is going to take man but i'm going to get straight there i want to take this with me right here so the crest fits perfectly in the indentation however it's going to fit perfectly in my back pocket both of these as well from the little icon seem to have the same i guess emblem within it is clear we need two of that thing for whatever is gonna happen. And I think it's gonna unlock that door, which is underneath like the main hall. Down here is exactly what I'm talking about. So back in the main hall, all right, I hear that thunder. If we now insert the two little things within those, I guess, octagonal shapes, then I think we can get straight under that. But as said before, we still need to return to the yawn first, which I really can't even remember where we actually did the battle. So this door here, okay, we can get straight through there. There is crimson heads and they know we're here. Like we must smell or something. There's a crimson head there as well. <gasps> Guys, what the freak do I do? What is this door here? You know, it's gotta be one way which is fairly safe. Okay, no crimson heads, but there are like lizard men down here. <laughs> Guys, maybe I gotta do this, you know? Because then once they're done, hold up, it's a bad camera angle! Oh my god, okay, blast it! Are you- I literally didn't even have a chance to reload the thing. Alright, well there's a dagger to the forehead, I mean sit down momentarily! There is another one right here. I see you. I see you, okay. It's coming. Okay, here we go. That's enough to make it sit the freak down for now. I gotta just run around this corner. Okay, that was like a fairly decent-ish plan. I mean, it didn't work out fully, but like didn't fail. Like we, we still do have our head. This door down the end here though, I think this is the one. Yes, this was exactly where the yawn was. And we've also got loads of herbs. I don't really have the space to carry it though. I think because I'm in caution, I may take one, eat the thing, and then I've still got the spot clear. Okay, so we're back down here. Like first of all, the yawn is gone. So clean up team, how are you doing your job so quick? You know what? I'm not even going to ask that question, man. This is the book we wanted. So Eagle of South Wolf of the North. Again, most confusing book tile ever. The last book, volume two. Now I haven't actually inspected this though. I just got an achievement written word is dead. What? So I haven't examined these before. If I press on this, what can the words on the cover mean eagle of the south wolf of the north uh the bottom of the book maybe there is like a small kind of slit can you guys see that there's like a differentiation of pages almost like maybe it's not actually a book maybe it's made to look like a book you know right. look at this yeah 100 percent oh i knew i knew a medal was hidden inside the book there is the medal of the wolf uh, it's got some inscription on the back. There's nothing unusual. I mean, there's a medal inside of a book. You know what? I mean, Chris is like a stars member, and if he says there's nothing unusual, let, let it be. So now I need to make my way. All right, all right, all right, all right. So now that we've got that medal from the book, as I said before, we already have the other medal. I feel like the only thing left to do now is proceed on. Other than the yawn thing, which we've just done right there, that's all that really needed doing to progress. Still no use for that weird MO disc as well, like some kind of data thing. I want to insert these, and I guess we can always backtrack if we need, or at least I hope we can. We are going to place that straight in there. I mean, I knew, and I think everyone else did, to be honest, so like, I, I shouldn't act smart over this. The two emblems fit neatly into the door. Open it. Oh, let's do it. <laughs> Hold up, what's this? Uh, can I get a better camera angle? What the heck is this? It's a save point. Okay. They want us to save right now. And there's also a chest. First thing then, I'm going to inspect this other book. I think there may be something in there. And I mean, we have kind of made progress and I have got quite a few ink ribbons still. So we may as well save. Look at this. The second one as well. There's the eagle. The eagle and the wolf. They were both being referenced. And uh, that's it. There's three indentations on the back with some more writing. So there is going to be something unique and a way to use them. But for now, let's just save this. But first of all, before I move, who the freak is like rustling paper? Like, you wrapping presents down here or something? Probably not, but I'm gonna keep moving. I think it may be like scarabs and beetles. So they started building on this place and look, it gets more and more rickety. Like maybe they ran out of funds or just couldn't be bothered. I don't know, let's go through this door anyway. Here we've got these candles illuminating everywhere and then a ladder. So we're descending just straight up deeper and deeper into this at the moment, my goodness. Down we go, oh! God dang, You're come a back. Bit of a mess up. Wow. Chris. 
Take a piece of the action. What action are we talking about? Oh, shoot. Hold up a second. Look, wait, 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 wait. Let me try and analyze. There was four things on the ledges. Ah, man. I don't think shooting that thing is going to matter. Let me just test. You know, if I can push this off. Hold up. Oh, that's going to move. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Holy crap, dude. What the, what the freak was that? Okay, it's coming to get me. Get Chris. I mean, come on right now, dude. You are going to die if you stand near that ledge and let that thing punch you off. So it seems to be focused on me primarily. Yeah, you see that? Wait, whoa. All right, he's doing some damage to it. I'm going to let it go. Okay, it's about to come to me. I'm going to bring it right to the edge. And I'm going to run straight round this thing, okay? Oh, wait. Oh, yeah. It's real slow with attacking. I'm going to push this off in that case. I got loads of time. Whoa. He's angry again. I knew it would be doing something. Wait, did we do it? We're good? What did we do? Revealed like a... Oh, that thing's mother was in there. Oh, wow. Uh, wait, it took the skull. So it's got the mum's skull. Uh now, I'm going to stop myself right there. Yo, Wesker, what the heck was that? You know? I'll investigate this area. Okay. A little further. He really had to think about that second line, didn't he? It was like a skeleton draped on the wall right there. Oh, okay. That was not good. So, moving on through, like, uh, an elevator or something. Oh, there's a button. I see that. Where are we? Like, some kind of courtyard? Oh. Oh, there's a large iron door. Here's where the cracks start to appear. We've got some water just around here. Yeah, there's going to be a way that we can access something. Look at this, man. A circular depression. There's an eagle shaped. Okay. I, I already know. I already know. Crap. I don't have them with me. So Eagle goes in that side right there. And then we need to place, I guess, the lion head in the other. I have realized I'm actually in caution. And I have like a poison slash healant that I've already got made up. Maybe I'll use that. I don't know exactly what awaits me. I'm going to presume more danger. Now let's check out this 144P. Glorious standard, lower than standard definition water. Hmm. That good stuff. More importantly, though, that's just revealed, like, a new path. Large sealed door. Looks like a laboratory or some kind of test facility. And now we have this. Like, is this... Hold up a sec. Is this really the way they would make it to work every day? Like, this is kind of unique, you know? Enough comments, man. We are down here. First thing, we have some kind of tank. Let me just shoot that real quick. Caution. Again, we're going further down instantly. Ooh, whoa. Uh, hello? Whoa. I don't... Oh, oh I don't like that ambience, man. That's kind of weird, right? Ambience aside, let's go. Oh my goodness. Okay, we got some kerosene right there. Maybe there's- oh, well, there's gonna be- You can already see them. I see this dude. Look at his freaking back. Like, let me just try and dodge around him. We got some herbs right here. Always gonna take them when we can see them. And we've got loads of free space for a chain. He's got his back to me, you know. I'm just gonna, like, shimmy around. And, uh, is there something that way? You know, there's like a B2. Oh, I don't know. Should I go that way? Or, mm, for now, I'm just gonna go down here. We can always backtrack for sure. That ambience changed instantly. I see this dude. You know what? I'm gonna blow this dude's head off. I barely get to use this magnum, okay? And it didn't kill him. Okay, so I went and got some kerosene, guys, and I want to check out this side room. It's locked electronically. There's something here, too. Will you take the ammo? All right, that's two. This is definitely a mount something, so let me try and bring this guy to this side. I'm gonna try and juke this guy there. It's not gonna work. You know what? Just take a dagger to the forehead. Like, I can't do anything else. So hold that for me. Right now, I ain't leaving any stone unturned, man. Use this on him. Okay, there we go. So, the first one of the Crimson Heck. Are you kidding me, Chris? Hey, move! Alright, we got a lab dude just here. Uh, let me just check. This way, no, wait, this way here. This is another alternate path. You know what, we really need a map down here, don't we? First aid box on the floor. Okay, I see you, I see you. Then, we have some kind of panel system here. It's locked. Uh, if you can just get those levers on the side to work, it should open. Levers for releasing the door locks. Now, if you can just release the locks on- What the fr- Okay, so we've got a locked door, and the levers to unlock the door are also locked by something. And them locks also locked as well. Small portion of lockception going on right there. So, <laughs> we're gonna try and figure out the problem. And uh, now, uh, okay, what is this? What is this? Like, are we a doctor or something? Will you take the x-ray? Sure. Um, this is interesting. So there's two x-rays here. Let me just place this one down for a second. We have this other x-ray as well, and I think for the hold up, a memo on your board catches your attention. There's something scrawled on the notepad. To use the electronic door, place the initials in alphabetical order. Based on the imagery then, we've got to maybe organize these in such a way. So they're all placed on the wall. 
Now, is there any way I can, like, try and simmer this down or figure out what order to go in? Apparently, you can only move the positions of these two photos right here, and then the rest should spell something else. Maybe it's talking about the alphabetical order of the name. So we have Alex Betshit right there. Then we have Gail. Then Clark. Okay, so we need to exchange these positions. Oh! Part of it is glowing red. Okay, I think I understand. So the esophagus on that one, then... Is that, like, the uh, liver or kidney or something? Okay, so colon... Then that would follow up with esophagus. Then that's the liver. This final one is the lungs. So is Sal the password? Sal maybe for the computer just there? If not, I'm going to take a note of the name. So researchers' letters. By the time you read this letter, I will no longer be the person you once knew. We got a zombo. I feel like I am teetering on the edge of reason just thinking about my impending doom. I would give anything not to have become one of them. As far as I know, you are not infected. I sincerely hope things do not reach such a desperate pass. But if it has turned out that you are now the last person remaining alive, I want you to get the material from the visual data room. Then activate the self-destruct system in the power room and escape from here. I have set up the terminal in the small security room so that you can log into the system using my name and your name as the password. Thank you, Ada. Yours truly, John. So, Ada and John. So, Ada is probably going to be the Resident Evil 4 Ada Wong, if you guys don't know. I'm going to assume, then, that's all the puzzles done here. Okay, let me move down this corridor, then. We burnt this guy, thankfully, last time. Now, we have one way here and a double door system. Let me just see this. Oh, I see the magnum rounds just lying on the floor down there. I'm gonna take that. Of course I am. Here's a computer as well. Okay, so the login. I think he said his name was John. We're gonna enter that. And then the password was Ada. There we go. So it was John and Ada. Maybe I spelled that wrong. Basement door lock operation. Select the floor. So we've got a 2F. Uh, we know one of the passwords is already sell. So I guess we're gonna try this. Let me just see. Hold up. Accessing and... Okay, permission granted. We are good right now. So that's been unlocked. It's showing us the room. Oh my goodness me. It's giving us like a proper breakdown right here. This is cool. Okay, so maybe we can access this one too. Let me just see. And we can. So we unlock both two and three right now. That's it then. We're done. That is everything unlocked that we need to. So uh, what do we have in... Oh my gosh. Hold up. Yep, yeah, that's that's a human literally in a shrink wrap. We take the flash grenade. Heck yes. Uh, okay, that's multiple humans in shrink wraps. Man... What the heck is this? A variety of chemicals you've never seen before? And like, bodies I've never seen before? Happy to leave this place, okay? Happy I don't know what those chemicals are. Uh, what's that sound? Yeah, that sounds like whirling. Maybe it's because I've opened some doors. We have two doors just here. And we've got another zombie just there. You know what? Let me just check this. It's locked. Okay, so a symbol resembling a power area. Okay. Oh, I didn't see this door here. It's locked also. Uh, a power again. So maybe we got to backtrack and we'll find something. So what about these doors? Yes, this must have been one of them then. Um... What? Must be just little beetles and stuff. I see you right now. We've got some ammo. This uh... Would it be rude to just pop this guy's head right now? You know, like if I just kind of swap out to the magnum, you know, put this thing, you know, nice and slowly, like, you know. Actually, you know what? I've got grenades. So if I let this dude grab me from the front, I will throw a grenade straight in his mouth or no. Okay, I'm still on the daggers. They're auto equipped right now. So then Chris will use the grenade in the mouth. There we go. Get rid of him. Nice, that takes care of that, and he was the only one in here. A security system passcode transmission device. If you had an ever- Well, I've got two, actually. Maybe this one here? Let me use that. I don't know if they're specific. Uh, it did work, I think, maybe. Oh. Okay, that's access to that room. Transmitting the passcode seems to have unlocked something. Not enough, though. To sanitation division from Raccoon Disaster. The contents of this fax are confidential and intended for the named addresses only. Any copying or disclosure is forbidden. We expect significant increase in the damage done by the recent T-virus outbreak than initially estimated. There are several concerns. The first one, more than half of the researchers have been infected. It has also been reported that almost all of the survivors of the accident are slowly starting to show symptoms as well. Concern two, our secret security patrol team has also been completely eradicated. Therefore, most of our research is in danger of public disclosure. Third concern, there's a high possibility that most of the specimens are running loose inside the con- Oh my- We suspect the first official intervention will come from the state police and STARS. We strongly recommend taking measures against them first. We are a member of STARS. We've made ourselves here. Oh man, okay, that's not good. There seems to be something behind the sturdy door. Open it. You know what? No, I'm not gonna for now. I don't feel like that's a good decision. Will you take the slide filter- I mean, I suppose we're gonna. I'm starting to run out of spaces, though, and you see we got ink ribbons, especially the magnum ammo as well. These are some important items. I'm tempted to make a backtrack, you know, past where the zombies were before. Maybe just get rid of some stuff out of the inventory. Whilst I'm here, let me just head into B2. This was a door that was locked 
There's so many good stuff in here, man. Oh, we got shotgun ammo. Okay, yeah, we gotta make a few backtracks, I think, then. There's another ammo disc in here. That might actually make the third and final one, maybe? So this room here had the ammo disc. That is gonna be crucial. I'm certain that's number three. I'm gonna have to check my inventory because, I mean, I'm gonna be heading back there anyway. There's more magnum ammo and, like, shotgun shells just here. So what more does this room have? We got some more documents here. Heliports for executive use only. The entry is prohibited unless accompanied by a consultant researcher. There's gonna be something that we need. They're talking about shooting on site, but we, I mean, we know everyone's dead. We've got a slide. Oh, wait, wait, hold up. We just recently picked up the slideshow thing as well. And did I just put that in inventory? Umbrella, bioorganic weapon, official report. Oh, they're the dogs. Okay, there's Neptune. Hunters. Then, uh, Tyrant. Okay, I haven't seen him yet, but now I know I'm about to. Bioorganic weapons research group. Bro, like, I mean, who doesn't notice that that's definitely Wesker on the right-hand side? The code. Okay. Okay, now I'm starting to see some weird stuff. I mean, I kind of saw it coming, I'm gonna be honest. A passcode entry terminal, use it. I mean, nope, I don't know any passcodes. What's with this barcode? You know, it's just really random. And uh, it's a string of nine different numbers. There's gonna be a way to use that somehow. Gotta be a clone of document. Aye. Turns out, guys, I packed the slide filter away and just didn't think twice about it. So I think that nine digit string at the end is gonna have something. Look at that, I mean, 8462. Probably need to use it at this terminal here as well. This time we are, so eight, four, six, then two. Let's see what happens from this. Oh, okay. A door back there. Okay, hopefully nothing's gonna kill me. Looks like a kind of small security camera system. Wait, what's this? The laboratory key. My gosh. All right, we got some like surveillance stuff, some sort of image editing equipment. Uh, it looks like you can use it to view Kenneth's film. Oh, hold up a second. The guy that was dead in the hallway, the first encounter with a zombie. This was what happened. Get away from me. Uh, no. My dude, I mean, for a Stars member, you're pretty damn weak, right? He had the gun, zombies like got half a brain, still gets eaten. All right, well, Kenneth's dead. So my inventory is looking about how I want it to, and uh, I'm just gonna have to make a mental note more so then of where the uh, Magnum rounds were, which were down here. Maybe I don't need them just yet after all. Like, can you back? I'm gonna try and focus on using those MO discs. They seem like a more crucial thing. And, you know, this is a way we haven't been, actually. Should I blow his head off or not? Hmm. Now, nah, you know what? Let's leave it for now. Instead, we're gonna check back where those locked doors were before, you know. There was a few little access routes we couldn't get to, this one being one. Okay, I knew this would be a use for it. And then the door just to the right. What? Bro, what the heck is that? All right, I'm gonna push this back. That sound is coming through the vent, right? Oh, gosh, there's more shotgun ammo. Are you serious right now? So if we climb up here... I see that. That is some strange noise, but I don't know what is making that sound. It sounds like one of those- Whoa! Whoa, whoa, what the- Whoa! Is it dead? Oh, uh, look at that. It just disintegrates into the ground. All right. Well, oh, uh, okay. We've got another slip route just here. Okay. And this brings us straight back out. Is this where we was before? Let me just double check. Yeah, okay, so it's just two different routes that we can jump through here. I mean, it is giving us shotgun ammo. Oh, hold up, there's another crawlway just back here. I didn't see this one. Okay, let's make our way through. And I don't know what we have here. Maybe another operating room of some kind. Can we jump down? Yes, we can. Okay, we got body bags. Uh, we got a research. Wait, 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 hold up. Let me just try and use any one of these for now. Okay, I knew it was gonna be another one of these. Let me see. The light changes. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. That's two or three down. So that frees up a spot in our inventory. I'm gonna take the shotgun shells because I feel like I may as well. Maybe we'll be using this thing more so than the Magnum and maybe we'll have to save the Magnum for another cause. There was one more person down here. Okay, no, let me not worry about him. There's this door here. Laboratory key, no further. Just two doors, I'm sure. Oh, this place is strange, right? It's kind of weird right now. The elevator isn't working. It looks like you'll have to operate the switch on the right-hand side. Okay, let me just press the switch. It doesn't seem to be getting any power. Who'd have thought? Another door just here. Let's make our way through. It's another save point. Okay, that means that we must be making progress and more Magnum. Are you kidding me? And shotgun. Guys, I'm not trying to boast, but... Breakfast. You know, I got 20 rounds for the Magnum as well. I'm really conserving stuff really well, man. Like, I gotta say. I gotta say... This uh, laboratory section is really fun so far. Like, honestly, this is the most fun I've had playing this game for a long, long time. Uh, no. No, no. This is real good. Like, this is just key core horror at its heart. And just the old way it's been done, it's so reminiscent and just a beautiful experience to play. First of all, I kind of want to see what this guy's hiding back here. Kerosene would just be just through the door, so it's fine anyway. Uh, let me just blast your head off real- Okay, okay, you can sit down, that's fine. Another route through, maybe? We've got- 
Oh, okay. Now I see how this all links up, you see? Ah, you don't think like that, do you? We're going to let SpongeBob take away this next segment here. Sing it to me, my boy. Sing it. Mm. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. So we had this room here. There was some kind of weird noise. And I think, you know what? I'm going to swap out to the Magnum. Maybe I could blast these things. Let me just see what we got. Okay, I'm moving away a bit. So we can see it coming from us. Where is it? Uh, what the heck is going on, dude? Oh, these bad camera angles. These camera- Oh, these camera angles suck. Hold up. Ugh, like I blasted that thing's head straight off right there. Yeah, that thing's definitely dead. Thank goodness for that. That takes care of him. Um, okay, I think there may be another one somewhere. Okay, right. Here we go. Here we go. If we get rid of them now, then we don't have to worry about them. So there's a second one. Or maybe they're just like auto-respawning. Okay, let me keep moving on through. I don't know what the purpose of that room- The things are just getting like redder and redder. Well, there's something else. Oh, whoa, whoa, okay. Blast that guy's head. The final slot for one of the MO discs. That makes all three? Dude, okay. All discs are inserted. That's it. We can get through that way. So the transmitting passcode seems to have unlocked. Yeah, we know. What more is in this room, though? You know? There's another one. Somewhere. Okay, okay. That's fine. That's fine. Get your freaking head popped. Another. Hold up, hold up. Uh, there goes three. Oh, I love killing these things. Oh, my God. There is a lot. You know, there is a lot of these things, dude. Okay, let me try and pop this guy. A computer here. The lab self-destruct. Oh my god. So they were ready for a pandemic, but I guess everyone died before they got to that point. There's no power. Started up? Sure, the system won't initialize. It appears to need some kind of fuel. So these things keep respawning by the looks of this. Oh my- Whoa! Can we- What the- Oh my god. Uh, yeah, a grenade. Nice! Nice! Okay, let me just pop this- So we need then something- else. What more do we need? And first of all, I haven't even seen that door that was locked. Uh, no, wait, yes, I did. So this was just down here. The levers for releasing the door locks. It looks usable. Uh, sure, let's push it. Okay, that's all those pushed. There we go. Access granted. Let's do this. Maybe it's like a puzzle room? This is puzzle music. Always puzzle music. All right, let's find out then what we got to solve. Um, okay. Or not. We just got a door at the bottom. It's Jill. Chris. What? Jill. She's in captivity. Chris. Wesker's the- I know. Mm-hmm. We've read the documents. We've read them. Oh my gosh. I mean, pulling a locked door. How many brain cells do you have? I can't open it. Yeah, I wonder why. Just Let's wait, find I'll the key. Be back. Okay. okay. We gotta find then something to power that thing up. Got it. Warning, fuel may explode if shaken or jarred. There's no fuel in there. I need to find fuel. It looks like a refueling device. That's the main power source for down here. I need to find maybe a container or something, and then from there on out, then we're going to be able to get this place up and running. I suspect it's going to be over here somewhere, guys. You know, with these crazy looking monster things. Let me just like examine everything right now. Look, man. I mean, that didn't take long. Warning, fuel may explode if shaken or jarred. Do I, do I really want to take this? So at the minute, let me just double check because I feel like I need to be safe. It's empty. Okay, so we're fine to move around with this for now. We're going to make it back over to that device. And then from there on out, I mean, it's about to get explosive. So there we go. The capsule is now inside of that. It's being refueled. Oh gosh, you got the fuel supply capsule. The main ingredient of this fuel appears to be nitro compound. Running could result in a fatal explosion because it'd be shaking it around. Alright guys, if you use the D-pad, okay, you walk. So we're gonna have to use the D-pad and this changes it to like standardized really janky controls. I mean, if it keeps us alive, it keeps us alive, you know? It was such a good job that we used the kerosene on these two, you know, in this hallway right here because they would pose a huge threat right now. It, I think it mentions if something grabs you, then uh, there's a risk of it exploding too. I guess it would shake it up. So we don't have far to go in here at all, okay? Wanna go left, but then it's a straight path. Please, none of those like scarab things come right now because I haven't actually seen a single enemy when I've been carrying this capsule and I feel like I've unintentionally done the perfect thing by like burning the zombies. Bro, Bruh, we're done. We have to actually use it that way. Okay, there we go. It's all in. Now we have power supply and we are good. So that should mean that the elevator around this corner now is up and running. We just press the button. It appears to be the control. Okay, let's press it. Come on, it doesn't Wait, what? Am I missing something over here? You know, in this like real red room? Yes, now we have this. Okay, there's no power. Yes! Now it- Yeah, I knew it would work. And that's how we get things up and running. Let's go. I checked back with Jill, guys. I thought maybe we would have to free her then because the power's to the door. But it, is, it just seems like no. All we can really do is call this elevator, which uh, ironically sounds like the wettest fire I've ever heard in my life. Chris! Wait, whoa. Rebecca? Rebecca. Where the freak does she come from? Oh. I saw you in the inner garden. Oh, okay. So she just- caught up. Dang. Well, well, you're really slow then. <laughs> glad you're okay. I've been down here like forty minutes right now. What? No more following. Just hey, more stay following. with me, kid. Okay, that's two words. That's my plan, sir. Cool. All right, really, like, this again? Are you kidding? We're going in the elevator together then. Wow. 
I wonder where we're headed. I'm actually excited right now. Okay, restricted area. Uh, yeah, Rebecca, sh should we just go back? One way, guys. One single way that we can go right here. It's Wesker. Wesker. I mean, we knew he was messing around, right? So you've come. He's so stern. Chris, you make me proud. Are you kidding me right now? you are one of my men. <laughs> Thanks. What the heck? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Thanks Since for pointing a gun Wesker. at me, Wesker! Dang, he's so I'm like- I'm afraid I don't know what you're talking I'd, about. I'd explain it right now. Since when have they been slipping you a paycheck? I think there's been a bit more going on, dude. I think you're a bit confused. These are eyes, are you? I've always been with Umbrella. Oh. And stars were umbrellas. No, rather, my little piggies. So he invented stars? Right? The tyrant virus leaked, polluting this whole place. And unfortunately, I had to give up my lovely members of stars. Wow, man. You killed them with your own dirty hands. Great lip syncing, man. And the thrust it in right there. Shows oh, anger. Oh, yes, dear. Just like this. What? Is he gonna shoot? Rebecca! Don't move. You. I saw no blood splatter. I don't think you want to die just yet. I have something that's of some interest to you. Whoa, what the heck? Oh, don't tell me you're gonna unleash like one of these freaking like big bundles of flat. Okay, he's a form bundle of friendly, like you know. I is it good guy? You know, stars member? Oh, I don't think so. I don't think so at all. Oh my god. I mean, they're great for scratching itches, but nothing more, you know. Oh crap. Well, okay, it's hearts on the outside of the body, but other than that, um, yeah, we're dead. We're dead right now. Someone's gonna die. He's flushing that thing. That's like the birthing process, you know? He's the definition, this dude of like a test tube baby. Or test tube man baby, literally. The ultimate life form. I mean, it's got his heart on the outside of the body, so almost ultimate. <laughs> what? Wesker, you've become senile. Chris, I think you've become senile with Chris, a comeback like that. Are you kidding you'll me? Never understand. Oh my god. It's magnificent. It's dangerous. It all oh, it's the The crate is dead. Oh my god. That was the tyrant, wasn't it? That was called the tyrant. I wonder how long Wesker's been working on that thing. Oh my god, well it's about to start working on us right now, you know? Look at that thing. It's about 25 Come foot. On, you test tube freak. Alright, Chris, you must have no Oh my god, okay, I was running to it. Run away. Take some shots in this thing, okay? Let's go. Right, one, two, there's two magnum rounds straight into its stomach. Oh, wait, no, this is dead end. Oh, no, run! <laughs> he, he cannot run. Four, five, did that kill it? That thing was the weakest piece of junk I've ever seen in my life. Rebecca? I mean, she's still moving. No blood. She's okay. Well, she's not. I mean, she just took a ragnum, magnum round. A Rebecca. ragnum round? Like, seriously? Chris. Wow. It's a good thing you were wearing your bulletproof vest. It is indeed. There's nothing left for us to do here. Dang. Let's get moving. What's my health like? I'm in caution. He did take two hits at me, so I'm surprised I'm not in, like, danger. I'm a heal up. Okay, so now I'm fine. That takes care of the tyrant, though. Like, we see this guy down there. He's dead. Let me check out Wesker. What a pathetic way to die. He's holding something. A note. The discovery of the G-Virus was, in fact, 21 years after the administration of the Primogenitor Virus. The prototype which we delivered from a laboratory in France and administered to a sample. The sample specimen took in the parasite without showing any signs of adverse reaction. The lack of any reaction was an unsolved mystery, but now everything is clear. The prototype parasite was incubating in the sample specimen body for 21 years. Then from that incubating state, the prototype suddenly mutated. I was able to derive a method to create the G that surpasses the performance of the T. This was the outbreak that would change the future of the BOWS history. I can't wait to see the look on Alexia's annoying face when I finally announce my research. Unfortunately, I'll have to wait a few more years to completely verify my earnings from William Birkin. A panel used to release the emergency electronic lock. Release it? Oh! Alright, was that for this? Now we can leave through the door, so we had to release that. Okay, so I think what we gotta do then is maybe go and get Jill now? I don't really know what else we have to do. Chris? Oh, what is it? Are you kidding me? I found a file in the lab. Apparently, there's still a lot of tyrant virus here. Oh, we know. We should blow this whole place up. We right. have to. The show like, must go on. on. Oh, come on. I'll leave that up to you, Rebecca. All right. I'm on it. Nice. I'll start the self-destruct system I found a little while ago. What, now? It's not like we're out of this yet. I'll see you on the outside. Good outside. Luck. Uh, wait, what? Is that- uh, did she mean to say bye? The Whoa. System has been activated. That was quick. Jeez, Rebecca. All, All right, we gotta get Jill. If we get Jill. 
That's fine. Don't act panic, man. We're good. Oh, we've got a game plan right now. Let's go. Let's go. Oh my god. Okay, he's got a game plan too. You know what? I got a freaking better game plan. Okay, let's try this now. The lock is released. Yes. Now we can rescue Jill. Jill. Sorry I made you Sorry wait. I, made you wait I knew you'd come. Let's get out of here. Nice. Okay. I wonder if she'll provide anything that we gotta do. Look at this! She's got like a gun and stuff? Come on, Jill. Let's get moving then. Where do we go? Let's get going. Alright, now I'm following her, okay? She seems to know exactly where to go. Or she'll Wait, she's literally just gone. What the heck? I am genuinely gonna get the heck out of here. But I'm just gonna keep moving up and up and up. Just this zombie. You know what I mean? I'm gonna take it. No, wait. Should I save my ammo or should I kill him? Nah, let's get round him. Jill was right here. Just after we climb up the stairs. She's still standing dead still though. Uh, there's no need to go back. Oh, uh, wait, what? There's a big door here. Oh my gosh. I completely missed. <gasps> Whoa. All right, I got an ink. I got ink ribbons. Oh man, if only I could get rid of them right now. Oh my god, Brad. He's been hovering around the whole time. How can we give him a sign? All right, Jill is following us though. Uh, we've got like some heated floor. This is literally like the, uh, I guess, amalgamation of everything we've gone through. Like this is the finale, it feels like it. The elevator isn't receiving power. The fuse unit is missing. So take this battery on the floor here. Looks like it, we take the fuse unit. And we're gonna slot this guy straight over here. And this should work. The fuse unit is missing. Really? Like we've got it in our inventory. You should have a brain? Okay. Three minutes to detonation. Three minutes to detonation. Oh, there's Rebecca. Self-destruct system's activated. Oh, oh I know. Work. Brad's up in the helicopter. We gotta go, man. Those things are coming. Ignore them. I'll take care of them. Really? Chris, you just get in contact with Brad somehow. Okay. Right. Rebecca's gone with. We're on our own, man. Oh, boy. Oh, boy, let's go. Three minutes, dude. Oh, my gosh. This is intense, okay? Like, this just feels really, really intense. I don't know if we gotta run through anything. We gotta get in contact with Bra Brad then. Oh, wait, what? What is this? This could work. Will you take the sick? Yes. Here we go. Yes, gonna lay them straight on the helipad. Now, Brad, if he misses these, like, he's got his eyes closed permanently. Get back. Come on. Here we go. Yes. Good signal flares, man. Brad's gonna know now that we've been hearing him the whole time, but haven't been able to, uh, communi- Uh. Hey. Okay. Chris. Goodness for that. It's just Jill and Rebecca. You okay? Yeah. They're good. He's holding her out. Oh! <gasps> What the heck? I guarantee. Hold up. Hold. Oh, he did not die. He was just taking a nap. Wow. Surprised the head didn't like snap off right there. We got Rebecca helping us out. We gotta help out. No, 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 no. Oh god, we gotta stop this. Go, 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 go. Okay, there's two shots. Woo! What the heck? How do you dodge that? Okay, hold up just a second right now. That was freaking insane. Alright, he just like a running thing. He's like looking at us. Cross. Okay, we gotta alert it. Chris, did he seriously just stand still? Oh my god, I'm in danger, dude. I only got one of those. Okay, puts me straight back in fine, though. That's the main thing. But we need these good camera angles. We need them. Okay, keep away from... Dude, you literally... I don't understand. Do you, I think maybe if we keep some distance from him, we'll be okay. But he's doing work right now. You know, that's all I'm saying. I don't get it. I'm running to the side. I can't dodge it. I'm so confused how he's able to keep doing that. Dude, oh my god, okay. Chris, use it. Oh my god, am Kill I screwed? I gotta go, I gotta go, dude. I didn't even have time. Okay, get it, get it, get it! Oh my god, get it, get it. I'm literally about to die. Give me that, okay. I gotta equip it. Go, 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 go. Okay. Dude, I'm nervous as freak. I am nervous as freak. Okay, let's go. Here we go, go! That ah, crap, I freaking missed. Right, here we go! Fire, fire, yes! I got it, I pulled my freaking headphones out. No way! I died. <laughs> no way! We here though, man! Oh my god. You demand Chris and the nightmare. That's it. That's end game. Brad saw the signal. We blew up the tyrant. I wonder if that's why it's called the T-virus then. The tyrant virus. Probably not. I don't know. <sighs> that's it, dude. Yes. Resident Evil HD is done. Oh, shoot. The mansion, though. That's self-destruct, you know? Hold up. Okay. You remember that one zombie with a grenade in his mouth like that we didn't kill? Yeah, he's dead. Now he's dead. So we saved Jill. She's sleeping. Chris is like, I ain't moving that arm. I ain't moving that arm. And Rebecca's watching, like, peed off to freak. Oh, I don't know. No, nope, Rebecca's just... She's straight up snoring. It's a long night. You know? A long, long night indeed. We did it. We did it! Yeah, dude. And we just sail off, but I guess we know. Whilst we thought we contained it, we didn't. Because Resident Evil 2 happens. And that's getting a remake, too. But for now... 
That's it, guys. I mean, we did Resident Evil 7, and then I saw this game, and I was like, it'd be so nice to go back and revisit it. And that's just what we did, so hopefully you guys did enjoy this one. Now, let's see what my stats were for the playtime. Chris, you did a fine Ten job. Ten hours. I mean, I get... Okay. Ten hours, though, man. Let me push that button. Chris has a new costume. We've got a closet key. There's a once again option as well, and the background has completely changed. But there we go, guys. That's uh, Resident Evil HD all wrapped up then. I knew this final video would be like the uh, big finale where we can kind of end this thing. And I really enjoyed how that sequence went. Everything just felt so nice to do. I'm really glad I revisited this game as well. I mean, I got so many more viewers on this series than what I thought. And I don't know what I'm going to do next. It's between like Soma and Dying Light. I probably am going to go Dying Light, though. Soma, I'm not sure. Maybe I'll live stream that at some point. But for now, that's the end of Resident Evil. And I hope you guys did enjoy. If you guys did, why not drop me that like rating? And hey, if you're new around here, why not subscribe for more videos just like this one right here? So thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I, of course, hope you did enjoy. And I will, of course, see you on the next one.